Ready, Daddy? Let's get this paper, man. Yeah, what up, game with the squad? It's your boy, Ethereum, the realist, the coolest, the trillest, young king. Only two platforms as we speak. What about playing a lit banger, gang? So we got uh trap logist back in the building, man. We got when gangster picked the wrong person to check. All right, man. If you're new, subscribe, like the video, comment some more bangers on me to check out, and let's go ahead and jump right into this one. Bang. Many entitled gangsters seem to think they're tougher than everybody and run the world. So here's what happens when entitled gangsters pick the wrong person to mess with. First, we have to start with this one entitled man who was inside Walmart going off on everyone since they were taking too long to cash his check. Because out of nowhere, the dude starts cursing and screaming at everyone in the store. First introduction to you. I am Cedric Hamisi Sa-E-D! Leaving now. The forces as well, sir, you fuck shit. I am the prince of the Congo, you fuck idiot! Seconds later, a man standing in the line told the dude to calm down with all the cursing, since there were kids inside the store. But the entitled man wasn't hearing it and got all in the dude's face, trying to fight him. You fuck idiot! I got kids. What are you gonna do, you I got kids, bro! Kids now. right there, boy! Black. Boy! I ain't gonna lie, bro. If I see an ignorant nigga like that, I'm walking the opposite way. Whether if I got kids or not, I just don't want him touching my kids because then I'm gonna look up on you. you. Me, personally, and my kids, personally. But, yeah, homie tweaking. Save him, boy! That's when another man tried telling the entitled man to calm down as well. But he did the same exact thing to him. But it didn't turn out well since he instantly noticed that he had messed with the wrong person. And his whole mood changed. I see no white devils in your eye, boy. I swear to God, boy. Try me oh. Give me that money now. Yo, yo, ain't no way. This nigga got pushed one good time. Now, give me my money. I'm gone. Give me my money. Bro, what happened to all that energy? But if you thought that was bad, Don't you haven't seen it. the time an entitled gangbanger tried breaking someone's equipment, but quickly realized he picked the wrong one to mess with. On August 16th, 2022, a man was walking around filming his county and not messing with anyone because it looked like he was trying to vlog. But seconds later, an entitled gangbanger pulls up in front of the man's camera. In a nice ass car. You should be minding your business. Go and get you some help. And starts asking the person filming why. Did this nigga think can somebody hold my hand? This fake. This fake. No way. No way. Hold on, y'all. Somebody hold my hand. Somebody hold my hand, bro. Bleed in my arm. Hey, come here. This fake. Gotta be fake. It's just pepper spray. Chill out, man. Chill out, man. Chill out. Thanks. You are a fighter. And this is your reward. Medela, the mark of a fighter. The dude he messed with took a light on him because things could have ended way worse like it did for the next guy. In 2019, rapper the baby was at the mall minding his business, shopping at a Louis Vuitton store, until a man named Cam Coldheart ran up on him. This dude ended up passing away. R.I.P. this dude. Clout chasing. He started recording the baby, trying to check him. That baby in here talking some He walking up on me like he about to do something. What you don't do? What you taking your off for? The baby tried ignoring him, but Cam just wouldn't leave. The baby probably one nigga I know, like, and he that's my size that I know I probably wouldn't even fight, cause I know he gonna rock my shit. Him <laughs> alone. The baby eventually pulled out his phone and started recording Cam, calling him scary and saying he was acting police. Yeah, boy. Ooh, I should make him go fire. Then, not long after going back and forth with each other, Cam popped off at the baby, but he missed the baby, and then went on to put Cam in his place. And even though we couldn't see it, everyone knew that the baby won. Shortly after he dropped him, he recorded a video of Cam lying on the ground, and you could tell he was dead pretty bad. Knock him out, me, Dolo, I'm the truth. Talking about. Not long after the altercation, Cam was butthurt and went back up to the Louis Vuitton store, claiming that the baby and his security guard jumped him. Security, another black man. How many people jumped on me in here in Louis Vuitton? How many people jumped Two. on me? A big one and a small one, right? Yeah. We in Louis. 
Why, why security got the lie? But things only get crazier because this nigga, you could have paid for him to say that. Oh, fuck. Next man thought it would be a good idea to pick on some old heads at a restaurant and put on an image to them like he was a killer or something. The young dude lets the older man know that he's going to get him smoked soon since he tried calling someone for backup. Cause then that's coming for one for me, go on you and the you just called. You yourself. You don't know who you talking I think I seen this. And now you look like more of a cause you called your little cousin. Go ahead. The older man was trying to tell the younger dude since he wasn't trying to be in any drama. But the young dude felt very entitled. He kept trying to press the older man. Oh, the old nigga about to whoop his ass. Since he knew people were watching. Oh, no, that's the same, right? It's the same, right? I've been touching you all night, right? Yeah. You I'm about to place my order. I ain't worried about no And if you Tonight, I should let you know what you really about, bro. You stupid. How old is you? How old are you? How old are you, bro? You let me at 24 pump both of you, and I ain't put a hand on nobody tonight. You niggas, I'm out there. I really dislike niggas like that. Like, bro, you big for no reason. Like, if I was that big, I wouldn't even talk. I'd just handle my business. And I sure wouldn't be worried about no old. The older man lets the young dude know that they were giving him a pass and that he should just let it all go and go on about his day. But that's when he started acting even crazier. So one of the older men threw one his way and drops him. Like this is not my hood. I just said I was so good. You ain't gonna keep I f anybody in my ass. I will f anybody in my ass. Who the f you talking about? Come on, man. You talking about? The two older dudes went to work on the big dude since he was talking crazy and they tried giving him a pass. But I'm not gonna lie, the big nigga did hold his own. Stop. I'm not gonna lie, he did. He held his own. Y'all watched that fight on, on Twitter, he held his own. Though. Hopefully, the dude will learn his lesson here. And the same with this next guy because one day, this 19 year old was flexing his gun in public, trying to act cool since he had just got the gun. Until an older man bucked him for the gun and taught him a lesson about gun control. Because the older man walks up to the 19 year old and asks him if he could hold the gun. Then he lets him know he just got jacked and isn't getting his pole back. I'm saying, let me hold it up. Yeah, bro, it's a little 43, bro. Yeah, you're not getting his back, bro. The older man tried telling him the reason he took the gun from him, but the 19 year old let the old head know that he wasn't trying to go out and was going to call his people up there to do something to him. Just said what you just what I said, bro. We're not about to do that. You about to get my gun. I promise you, I'm not, bro. You don't even know how to hold a gun properly. You got a gun, you putting it up in the air, Charlie. I got something. Respectfully, if you. JJ Watt was retired. That is until he showed up. You Justin James Watt, sir. Touch me. He's trying to help the young bull out, but. Young bull ain't trying to listen. Yeah, bro, it's gonna be an issue, bro. bro like, don't don't touch gun, me, bro. You just took my gun. It bro. ain't about that. I'm not finna go out like no. I gotta go out like that. I'm, I'm like, like no. though. I'm a little. I'm a little wiser and older than you. Don't you don't know how to. Is, bro, you my. So I saw my boys up here, bro. You can call whoever you wanna call, bro. Okay, my. Look, this is what I'm gonna do though, right? This is what I'm gonna do. That's when the older man takes the magazine out of the gun and gives it back to the 19 year old. Since he didn't want the 19 year old walking around. Hey, he a real nigga. He knew how to handle that bitch. Because he knew how to take that bitch out without having to, you know what I'm saying? And crazy with the gun. <laughs> I'm gonna take the magazine out. And I'm gonna give you your gun. Because I don't know yo, what type of time. Yo, listen. Yo. Listen to me, bro. I'm a little old. I'm gonna give you a gun. But I'm taking the magazine out. Say so, so that's what it's gonna be. Give me my, give me my, yo, give me my. Listen, this is what it's gonna be. Clip, everything Here. else, bro. Nah, I need everything, bro. I need everything, bro. I need everything, bro. Listen, promise you, you're not getting that. Hey, yo, yo, bro, get this one. Respectfully, you don't even know how to carry a gun, bro. And at least the older man wasn't toxic and didn't take everything from the 19 year old. Right. Now, let's move on to a TikTok prankster who was messing with people in the store and talking to them crazy because in the video, he walks up on a dis. Now, y'all know how I feel about pr uh, internet pranksters. I got, you know, I got this big with the help of one. Canel Joseph, shout out to him. But I don't necessarily can. People ain't fucking with you. Keep it moving. Don't keep going until they want to beat your or kill you. Disabled Navy veteran and calls him out of his name for a prank. Hey, bitch. Hey, me that real fast. What? You talking to me? I said, hey, my brother, can you hand me that real fast? Nah, bro, you talking to me? You what? talking to me? A veteran? I'm a motherfucking 100% disabled veteran. The dude instantly folded and let him know. Hey, you don't mess with them vets, man. 
I don't care how old they are, they can do things to you that you never thought would happen. No. It was a prank, since things could have been way worse for talking to someone like that. It's United States prank. Navy! It's a Man, prank. you talking to me like that? You know who you talking to, motherfucker? You gotta be careful who you mess with because this next man was trying to clout chase as well and embarrass an old man laying on his bike since he thought it would go viral until the older man upped the pole on the entitled clout chaser oh, since he knew damn. he was picking on him. Hey, I don't usually do this, but boy, you look like you need some help, my brother. You don't need no help. You on the floor, you got a box. Oh, all right, put the thing up. Now, let's move on to an incident that happened with famous internet personality. Charleston White. Charleston White. In August 2023, Charleston White was supposed to have a boxing match with a dude named Swade the Plug Guy. Swade felt entitled and was trying to pick on Charleston the whole time before the match started. And snake. it didn't end well. One day, Charleston reached for a handshake, but Swade shoved him instead to go viral and ended up getting popped in the head with something. <laughs> Swade was recording the whole time, Damn. so he knew that he was trying to go viral off Charleston White. But it didn't end how he thought it would. Since after getting smacked, you can hear Swade saying, Oh, you got me with the blade. Oh, he got me. Oh, he got me with the blade. He got me with the blade. Oh, you didn't put the... You put the blade. Oh, come on, come on, come on. All right. All right. After the incident, Charleston went live on Instagram saying he did this since Swade couldn't keep his hands to himself outside <laughs> of the ring. <laughs> Bro, this nigga Charleston White is a character. He got the, he got to answer for everything. Tell you. <laughs> yeah. Thank y'all, little people. Me. Yeah, yeah. You you keep on the fight outside the ring, okay? You may she outside the ring, okay? You want to fight again, huh? <laughs> I change change your mother. <laughs> Put a hole in. Now, let's move on to some entitled You know that shit hurt, they put a hole in your head Rude teenagers who were disrespecting people at a hotel Until the hotel manager came outside And put the teens in their place You think you is? But don't push my dope, brother I'm not the one you think I am, brother I will take 20 years of the military And beat your You understand me? Now don't you ever disrespect nobody up in this hotel You understand me? Cause I'm not the You think I am You understand me? Don't me, the hotel manager lets the disrespectful teenager know God. that it can get ugly since there aren't any cameras where they are. And that's Man. when the other teen let the manager know that she's recording. And he goes over and goes off on her too. Ain't no cameras out just being in the hotel no more. I'm recording you right now. Do. <laughs> okay? Don't get out Now get out my hotel. I am. The first domain. Oh, terrifying audiences. Every get out! I Walk away from me. No, get out. Cause you, don't have no sh you shouldn't have yelled at the woman like that, my boy. The man cool, not the girl. I'm here, and no. you in here disturbing my thing. You cussing at my receptionist. I did not. You threatening my receptionist. Get out of here. Not, get out. And sometimes you have to pick carefully who you try to press. Because the next dude thought he was better than everyone just because he's from Africa and ended up getting dropped. Because he gets all in the dude's face and lets him know that he's from Africa and even starts grabbing on the dude's clothes. <laughs> The man told him to chill out since he has nothing against nobody. But the African dude was still trying to act hard. So the other dude put him in a move and threw him off him. Why you come? Now, let's move on to the entitled I don't know what the fuck happened there Crip from LA who was picking on street vendors And trying to take their money Since he claims they were in his territory Banging on him Banging on him Banging on him, he was doing absolutely nothing, literally just selling flowers. And a week later, a dude from the same neighborhood caught up with the entitled Crip and pressed him for picking on the street vendor for no reason. Hey homie, don't come in my driveway no more, bro. Don't come in my driveway. What? Hey, bro, hey, don't don't come in my driveway no more. 
I'm going to grab your trash bag. Don't come in my driveway no more, bro. Don't, don't, don't come in my don't come in his driveway no more, bro. My driveway no more. The crib tried going back and forth with the dude, but knew he was messing with the wrong person. So he eventually hopped, and the cop and drove away, cause he wasn't ready for the smoke. Don't come, don't come here. Don't, don't come here, and I won't go to your driveway. All right? Don't come here, and I won't go to your driveway. All right? How old school crib get punked like that, gang? This next now what that say to the little homies that they big homie then got punked like that this dude was trying to be entitled and told some people at a skate party that they had to leave and weren't allowed to skate i don't know for what reason but the skaters weren't harming anyone and let the man know they wanted to skate so seconds later the entitled dude swings at one of the skaters since they weren't listening to his commands and seconds later all of the skaters came at the entitled dude and embarrassed him but if you thought that was hey you don't fuck with skaters them skateboard niggas be will whoop your ass and i skate not like heavy but i got a skateboard <laughs> And I'll whoop your ass too. It's crazy. This next dude went on IG and shot at the police to get clout. And another person recorded a house getting firebombed on IG Live. So click this video to see the most disturbing moments on IG Live of all. I was just about to react to that shit. Anyway, um, what y'all thoughts, man? Hold on. What y'all thoughts, man? Was that hey, man? If y'all new, subscribe, like the video, comment some more bangers y'all want me to check out. Till next time, your boys out. Just say, you got anything to say, boss? Excuse the messy background. You gotta start making more sense, just like, because these are actually people that's listening to you, okay? Mm -hmm. Say bye. bye.